Hi there, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloryTutors.com and welcome to this video on calculations using the ideal gas equation. So the ideal gas equation is one of the big, big equations that um, you have to know for your exam. Um, and in this, pa in this paper, in this video, uh, we're going to go through an example question and we're going to work through it and uh, give you some little uh, pointers to make sure that you don't fall down the traps with some of these questions and to make sure that you're using the right units as well because obviously that's really really important. Okay so let's get straight into it. So the question says a sample of sodium hydrogen carbonate which is NaHCO3 was heated until completely decomposed. The carbon dioxide formed in the reaction occupied a volume of 325 centimeters cubed and uh, this was at 1 times 10 to the 5 pascals of pressure and 298 Kelvin. And what I want us to do is to calculate the number of moles of carbon dioxide formed. Right, okay, so this is a pretty standard uh, ideal gas equation. So I suppose the first thing we have to do is write down the ideal gas equation. Um, so that's going to be PV equals NRT. Okay, so um, that's pretty important. You need to know this equation. Um, you actually get a mark sometimes in some of the exam boards, you get a mark for this, for literally writing it down or writing in the substituted value. So make sure you do know it. Okay, so um, basically P stands for pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, um, R is the uh, ideal gas constant, which you'll be given in the exam, and T is the temperature. Now what we're going to do um, when we calculate this is to go through each one, make sure they're in the right units. That's the first thing we have to do. Okay, so the first thing, I'm going to write it over here, I'm going to put P. So this was um, pressure. Now the pressure, as you can see on here, is 1 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Um, pressure in the ideal gas equation is always measured in pascals, so in this case we don't have to change anything. But if this was in kilopascals, then you'd need to convert to pascals. So it's very, very important. So make sure it's in pascals. In this case it is... Okay. There you go. So that's the pressure bit done. That's fine. Uh, v is the uh, volume. Okay. So the volume in this case is 325 centimeters cubed. Now for this, we have to actually uh, turn this into meters cubed. Um, we can't use centimeters cubed in the calculation. So um, we need to convert this. Now a way in which you can do that is actually by dividing this by um, a million and that would get you into meters cubed. Now, if you don't know how to convert units, I have done a video that looks into converting units, and in particular, obviously, this one, in particular volume, so you really do need to know how to convert units. It's a basic, basic skill, but if you're not sure, that's fine. Just click on the link below, and you can have a look at the video there. Okay, so this one is going to be divided by a million, um, which is gonna give us a nice number of 3.25 times by 10, to the minus four, and that's meters cubed. Very, very important, you must convert to meters cubed. Okay, um, the next bit is um, N, which is the number of moles. Um, we need to work that bit out, so we're just gonna put a question mark there. then. Okay, so that makes it a bit easier. R is the ideal gas constant. Um, you'll be given this number in the exam, it's 8.31. And T is the temperature. Now the temperature must be in Kelvin for this. If it's in degrees Celsius, you need to be able to convert it to Kelvin. So um, in this case, because it's already in Kelvin, that's fine. We just put 298 Kelvin. Okay, and that's the number we must use uh, in this example. Okay, um, what we have to do now is because we need to work out N, uh, we need to be able to rearrange this equation. This equation doesn't have N as the subject. Um, now, again, if you're not sure on how to rearrange ideal gas equations, um, some people may struggle with this, some people really don't like rearranging equations. I've done a little uh, video that looks into how you rearrange this properly. So if you want to have a look at that video on how I rearrange this, just click on the link below. Um, but in this video, we're going to assume that you know how to rearrange it. So um, this one is pretty straightforward in terms of rearranging. So it's N equals PV over RT. Okay, uh, and then all we have to do is put the numbers in. So it's pretty straightforward. So um, the pressure we worked out is 1 times 10 to the 5. Okay, and we're going to multiply that by the volume, which is 3.25 
uh, times by 10 to the minus 4, divide all of that by uh, r, which is 8.31. Uh, and we're going to multiply that by 298 because that's the temperature. Put that in brackets. Now, with these equations, because they're so big, it's probably easier if you work out the top line first uh, and then work out the bottom line and then divide the two numbers from each other rather than trying to put all this in the calculator and risk maybe mispressing a button or putting the numbers in the wrong way around or whatever. It's easier just to kind of work out the top row first, get your answer there, and then work out the bottom row, get your answer there, and then just divide it as a normal, as a normal sum. So, for example, if we do 1 times 10 to the 5 times by 3.25 times by 10 to the minus 4, we should get a value of 32.50. Put that down there. And then if we do the same with the bottom one, 8.31, times by 298, um, and that should give us a number of 2476.38. There you go. Uh, and then if we use these numbers and we divide them together, then we should get our answer in moles. Um, and so our answer should be 1.31 times by 10 to the minus 2. Now, you might put that in your calculator. If you're all right with standard form, that's okay. Uh, your calculator may show this as well, which is uh, 0.031. Oops, wrong way around. 0.0131. There you go. Uh, and this is moles. So just put mole at the end. And um, there we have it. Um, there's your answer. Um, you can write it in standard form, or you can write it in um, standard decimals. But... Um, not such a bad question. Make sure you um, work it out properly and um, using the correct uh, units. That's very, very, very important. So many people lose marks because they haven't converted the volume properly or they haven't put pressure in pascals. Make sure you, you look out for that very, very carefully. And obviously make sure you rearrange the equation properly. But this in the exam could, depending on your exam board that you do, could get up to four marks uh, in the exam, three to four marks. So yeah, not a, not a bad question. That's it. Bye-bye.